Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Charlotte Moore's Adventures in uh, Terra Firma Punk here. Um, you know, the wonderful One Wolf um, hey. has been working on a, a cool pack. Um, the crazy assortment of, of mods uh, to Terra Firma Craft. Uh, yeah. The idea the, is to, with, with the mod pack, is to make it into a steampunk style. Um, steampunk is kind of Jules Verne, Industrial Revolution, with a few other oddities thrown into it. <laughs> right lots on. of lots of brass and uh, bronze. But uh, we are actually on the eCubed server. This is a server started by a buddy of mine called Wooly Creeper. <laughs> so this is his server, and this is the second season of this server. Uh, the first season we just did default uh, standard Terra Firma craft, but uh, this season uh, Wooly asked me to put together a, uh, a pack with some other stuff in it, uh, specifically adventure stuff, huh. because okay. we got to the end of Terra Firma craft, we had red and blue steel gear, <laughs> and we got bored really quick. <laughs> so we're at the top of the, the tech tier and we're going, what do we do now? Yeah. Well, let's let's throw some adventure into the pack and uh, see what we get. Cool. So, if you take a look over here, depending on your render distance, you can see a couple of ruins oh, out yeah. there. Yeah, there's the big one there I can see for sure. Um, and off to the right, there's a little hint of another one. Uh, maybe where you're standing. Oh, maybe a... Ah, okay. Probably not. I don't have probably that now, high. No, those are those are both going to have monster spawners in them, and they're Twilight Forest monsters, so they're pretty tough. Cool. Pretty <laughs> Twilight tough. Forest is that like another mod? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Twilight Forest creates a, another dimension, <laughs> but Terra Firma Craft um, corrupts your game if you try to go to another dimension. So what I've had to do is I've had to bring them into the overworld okay. so that's using cool. the ruins mod. So I <laughs> built a bunch of ruins and populated them with monsters. <laughs> huh. <laughs> right on. That's awesome. Makes but, it interesting. Uh, so that's one if, part of the adventuring. Yeah. If you want to get started, get yourself some rocks. And oh, some well, I, I guess so. Hey, I'll just grab the ones up top here. Don't know what they are. Don't care. <laughs> and most oh. of us have already done a lot of exploring and looting, but we do know that there's going to be some trees on the other side of that this hill over here. Oh, yes, I remember. Oh, sweet. <sighs> and that's the only place you're going to be able to get sticks. Say what? In, yeah, no, in, but where? Where? Oh, the other side of this hill. Really? Yeah. Huh. Come wow. over this hill. Uh, now the quest book that you have, how operational is that? Well, I was about to update the server with a uh, a better oh, that's right, a better version of the quest book. But you should be able to get through some of the quests as long as you don't try and make a stone hoe, because <laughs> the stone hoe is busted. <laughs> uh, a few of the other quests in the Stone Age are also a little quirky. That is hilarious. So, yeah, yeah um, I spent most of the weekend um, not playing so much as fixing the quest book. Well, when you're a developer, that's what you're going to do. You're going <laughs> to spend time <laughs> fixing versus playing. <laughs> oh. Watch it. Also, you know, did you hear the echo? Uh, when you a little fell? bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a mod in here called uh, Sound Filters huh. that will make um, ravines and caves echo. So that's cool. And then wool blocks will also dampen sound. Huh. So that's kind of so, neat that you can do that. So if you're playing a jukebox and you stand behind a, uh, a wall of wool, you won't be able to hear, hear the joke jukebox even though you're right next to it Ooh. so it adds a little atmosphere to the pack 
Huh. That's awesome. I, I, I like that. Sorry, just trying to follow you here. Oh, here's the trees finally. Holy crap, it's a long trek. <laughs> the trees. Uh, now you're rock. probably going to want some food, too. Yeah. Are because pumpkins edible here or no? No, they're not. And most of the food in the general area has been picked clean. <laughs> Thank so, you, peoples. <laughs> well, there's, what, seven of us already? Right on. So here, let me hand you a, a potato that's almost gone. Right here, right here. Oh, you can't wear them either. That's interesting. Really? You can't wear them? I tried just now. But they do make uh, they do make lighting that won't burn out on you. Yes, um, yes. Torches burn out. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 oh, uh, bastards! It is kind of dark in there. Yeah, it is. I thought that was just the light, but I guess it's getting dark too. Oh man. It's gonna suck. Now we do have a shelter over this hill. Uh, let me see if I can deal with the creepers. Shelter over the hill. Yeah. Kind of okay, back. What, what we hill are we talking about now? Uh, <laughs> I can make an axe if they don't molest me here. Yeah, I'll keep their attention when you go make an axe. There we go. Oh, Sweet. I lost my axe. Woo! Got him. Got one. Woo! Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> Bang! There we go. Alright, ah. so Sweet. back here is uh, what we call the stockade. <laughs> stockade? <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love the terms. Well, we're we're very down and dirty, rough and tumble <laughs> here. <laughs> oh yes, good. Um, we've got some guys that are really trying to to push it to get to the the tech mods, but they don't realize how difficult that's going to be. Oh, there's uh. Nope. But incoming on the left hand side. <laughs> oh no! I think I looked at the Enderman. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the noise. This fight just don't look back now. <laughs> I think I'm right behind you. Yeah, I still am. Ah, oh, shoot. Navigating through the. Oh, there's a torch. Oh, you don't see the torches then? Yeah, they're not lit. I gotta relight them. Oh, okay. This is supposed to be safe here? Um, safer. So the torches, they don't stay lit? No. Um, so how do you relight them then? Like, where are you using to relight them? Just another torch? Uh, or? Another torch. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Every couple of days, the, tor the torches will burn out. I don't so know if I like that. Around now, is that something they added in Terra Firma Craft? To, yes. Uh, oh, okay, that's right. I most, most, of the, most of the features you see in here right now are default Terra Firma Craft. Okay. Hello, zombie. Hi. <laughs> Some of the stuff has been tweaked on the server for um, multiplayer considerations. So why but is this guy moving so slow? Because he's a tweaked zombie. What, tweaked on drugs? No. <laughs> I altered his uh, stats. He does a lot more damage. He has a lot more health, but he moves really slowly. Uh, okay, I see, and I see. He's not affected by knockback. Okay, that's cool. So he's like a tank. Um, let's see, I'm gonna need to make another axe here. Yes. Now I notice there's the NEI um, on here. Does that mean I can use that to search for things or how to craft it? Yes. Um, and the NEI actually works for Terra Pharma Craft. Oh, does it really? Oh, there it, it is, there it is. It, it kind of does. It didn't used to, but somebody has gone out of their way to 
make um, cool. a mod that pre presents the recipes for Terra Firma Craft right. in NEI. So you can look up how to make a um, um, an axe, pick, pretty much right. all that stuff is now in NEI. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the quests here. See if I'm. Oh, okay, that's a hundred percent. I need. Uh, oh, I need ten sticks, bastard. <laughs> um, if you want to brave the zombies, you can go out and punch the leaves. Punch the leaves. Oh, here's another strong zombie. Okay. Oh, cool. and what? this stuff does absolutely nothing in the game. Zombie flesh. Oh, zombie flesh? No? Yeah, it's totally useless. So, I don't find a mod to make it useful. <laughs> oh, I could. I have a mod called Mind Tweaker that allows me to change all the recipes. Um, and because Terra Firma Craft removes all of the vanilla, vanilla ores, yeah. vanilla rock, it's yeah. all gone. So, yeah. I have to change a lot of recipes. Oh crap, the spider. Work. Spiders are the worst. I think they got a lot of hit points. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right, come on, bad. Come on. Ha. Die. Oh, something else kills me. And then uh, what I know is, too, is when you kill something, that big bar of all those hearts come up. Yeah. Is that like just uh, like a bug or something, or? Uh, it's annoying. Yes. Okay. Um, I intend to disable it. Why is it doing that though? Is that like a particular mod that that comes from? No, it's because huh. what it's trying to show you is the amount of hearts that the the monster has. But oh, okay. Terra Firma Craft monsters have hundreds even thousands of hearts so right when it gets down to where they only have uh, a few hearts left it shows you that box huh interesting yeah it's a little weird why it does that yeah oh well that's okay So I'm collecting the zombie flesh just in case. <laughs> yeah, just in case I come along sometime and and make it a. Uh... It commits people it's currency. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, now water. Uh, where's the closest water? Um, through the dark. Of course. Now, do you want to know where we've set up our village? Sure, sure. Let's do that. Uh, let me make an axe here, though, because the one's actually, almost. I actually had a uh, small stack of them made up. I could probably make a sword. Yeah. Um, you can it, if you make the uh, the axe head. Yeah. And you don't put it on a stick. You can actually stack them. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's but cool. Once you put it on a stick, you can't stack it or stick it in a chest or anything. Now is that something? Um, you know, is that always in Terma Firma Craft, or is that... Yes. Okay. So he just That's tells you... something that I've done. It's, oh. it's a Terra Firma okay. Craft thing. Cool. So he just tells you how much of a noob I am that way. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter, because so much has changed... Oh! ...between the ah! last version of Terra Firma Bastard. Craft. Like, torches wow. didn't used to go out, but now they do. Um... You used to be able to stand in water to drink. And yeah, now no, you can't. just have to right-click on it. So there's there's a ton of changes between the the, the last version and this one. Good. Good. So I I feel like a noob half the time. <laughs> That's awesome. That's good though. That's good that they're changing it. Um... Yeah. Once the sun comes up, we're gonna head across that hill. Okay. And there's a little pool right around the corner. I didn't know it was there until I, I was editing my own video. And I'm, <laughs> um, uh, um, 
what was it? Uh, I was dehydrated and taking damage, and I ran right past it, and I didn't <laughs> even know it was there. <laughs> Until you're watching, and then, oh, look at that! I needed that! <laughs> yep, I ran right past it. But Let's... we have a zombie behind us. Oh, I'll just keep going. I just don't want to get the attention of that spider right want now. Want the light? Uh, well, not actually, yeah. I'm going to wait until the skeletons start burning. Oh, yeah, I don't like those black guys there. Those black skeletons. <laughs> they nasty. throw javelins. Yeah, and that hurts. Hot. <sighs> but I need water, so... <laughs> Alright. Kit, are you... You don't have particle effects yet, do you? Well, I got them on... They're on fire. No, you. As in, you're not dehydrated and you can still sprint. Uh, no, no, because you can't sprint if you're down on a certain level, right? Okay. Normally you would have... I would be able to see your particle effects when you did. Well, not... Yeah, it's like half a... What is it? Like half a bar left of that stuff. Now it's it's either right here or the next... Next one over. <laughs> it's, it's here somewhere. I know it. Here it is. There's lots of clay here, at least. Yep. Oh, yay, water. Woo. Here, take a jug. Oh, cool. It's got a couple. Oh, yes. Took from the jug and then refill it. Okay, I'm full, I think. And then Good. we want to keep going this way. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now I can sprint. I just wanted to sprint to avoid the burning skeletons. <laughs> uh. Now, you really want to watch out for... Okay, any... He's cave in, right? Uh, yeah. It's awesome. I love that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you really want to watch out for monsters that have particle effects. Because they're they're harder. Um, there's another mob called Infernal Hobbs. <laughs> uh, you ever played Diablo? Yeah, I, ha I you know have. How the, you know how Diablo has those random, uh, rare mobs that are usually stronger than the rest. Yeah. It's very similar to how that works. Oh, that's cool. They have random special effects. They have random names. Huh. That's and they really have different cool. colors. There's, there's, I believe, blue, purple, and gold. If you see a gold one, run away. Instead of fighting. Yeah, don't even, don't even try to fight it. <laughs> All right, I've on. seen some gold bon mobs with like fifty thousand hearts. That's cool. Which is something that I find to be a little excessive, but. I've got to see if I can tweak it so that they don't get that high. So the village is on the other side of this lake. So we have to swim? Mm, eventually, yeah. Yeah. Because okay. there's a river There's a river up there. You'll have to swim across it, or you can just swim across the lake. Wow. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool, though that you, you've done this and you've made you know, like a pack all right, for Terra Firmacraft and, you know. Terra Firmacraft is so unfriendly it's even awesome to other, even to other mods it's unfriendly oh yeah? Huh. yeah I guess so because, because it's a mod in itself right so but it's such a, a heavily uh, uh, I don't know I don't know what the right word I want to say, but it's it's such a heavily kind of developed mob itself that you're trying to make other mods work with it is probably pretty fun. <laughs> the only the only reason I was able to even consider making a pack out of this, other than just putting in say like NEI or a mini map or something like that, if you look out at all the other packs that are out there, that's all they've got is you know a few. Uh client side make it look pretty like shaders or something right right but the only reason i was able to make this pack at all is because the developer added uh or dictionary support 
Oh, look, this, this is what looks like where everybody's living. This is our village. This is it. Huh. That's so cool. This is this is what I think it is. Wait. This is um, in the second video, which hasn't come out yet. I believe uh, Wooly and some of the other guys camped out up here the first night, or the okay. first, the second night, when they decided this is where we're gonna stay. So they camped out on this rock. That works. Um, <laughs> me, I was still over in the um, the stockade where we were at earlier. Right, right. I was camping out over there. Huh. But this is our this is our town. Wow, so people are already quite developed. No. <laughs> well, we got Voodoo Beard who's been playing nonstop. Come on, really nonstop? Oh, hey, do you have these things in here? These uh, things where you can put whatever uh, on? Blocks. Yeah, and they have like the angle blocks and stuff like that in there. Yep, all the angle blocks. Really cool. I'm gonna have fun with that. <laughs> you can actually make a dirt hut with a dirt roof. <laughs> that's so because, cool. Because uh, in terra firma craft, dirt falls down. But when you put it into a carpenter's block, it doesn't fall down. See, that's awesome. See, these are one of the underutilized uh, things, and I think for modded stuff, because you can get so much more creative with that. Yeah, we can make we can make slanted roofs and. Um, we're trying not to use the 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 chiseled blocks that are in Terraformer Craft because on our last server they really caused a lot of lag, <laughs> and we kind of overused them too. Well, so. it's, yeah, because it's all the well. Every time you chisel it, it's gonna add the polygons it's, to it, right? Which yep. so then if you have so many of those, and it's gonna <laughs> you wreak havoc on someone's uh, video card. <laughs> Oh, it does. <laughs> and, and the server, too. As cool as it is, right? The server, too, it shouldn't really affect that. But, yeah, wow, that's crazy. Well, we were getting server uh, lag all over the place. Now, this thing over here, yeah. this, this hut over here, if you get close to it, you'll see something spinning around. Oh, is that like a spawner? Is this like a is giant a, spawner or something? This is a giant spawner. And the giants look like you. Yeah, what is that all about? Well, they just copy your skin. Ah, uh, okay. So they always look like whoever's skin is currently playing. So huh. for me, they look like me. For you, they look like you. Right, right. That's for interesting. everyone else, they look like themselves. Huh. It is kind of creepy to have a, uh, a nine-block tall giant with a sword coming at you. <laughs> Creepy, huh? That's pretty cool. Uh, how's my inventory? Okay, don't do okay. Oh shit. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh man, that's close. Did you fall in a hole? No, almost. <laughs> oh. Yeah, without a without a pickaxe, you're not gonna be able to get out. Oh, oh yeah, you can actually right click, but it takes Forever for forever. it to. <laughs> it's just as faster to just drink from your jug and then refill it. Oh, much huh. faster. That's stupid. Um, so before we finish, let me go make you a salad. Yay! Wow. Uh, how often is the server up, or is it up all the time? Just you log in, have fun, and. Yep, it's up all the time, and it actually goes. It goes to, or it should be going to sleep when people log off. Okay, and then uploading, uh, how do you want that to happen? Um, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. If, uh, since you missed, um, the Saturday upload. Right. We were, we were trying to make sure that the Saturday upload, uh, went out on Monday, but other than that, it's kind of free for all. Okay, well, it's Monday today, so. <laughs> right. Here's a salad. In fact, I'll make you another one. Sweet. This is awesome. Um, they don't what? last as long as, say, if you had a, a full potato, but it does um, saturate your hunger better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be yeah, because you're balanced, you know, the diet stuff. And... Even if it doesn't have all the nutrients in it, 
Right. It still it still puts something into every single one of your huh. cars. That's cool. So even though we don't have a supply of meat, it's still or meat and dairy, it's still putting it putting those in there. Cool. Okay. At yeah. least that's that's what uh, one of the developers has explained. I was watching them play a, a and uh, on on somebody else's video, I was watching them, and that's what they explained is that. Oh hey, free food! We got seaweed. <laughs> so, well, there's some berries here that were so. Hopefully, they don't mind if I snag some berries. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's cool. And so these trees are free game too, or is there certain aesthetic trees you don't want touched? Um, right now we I don't think we have any aesthetic trees. Just replant what you chop down. Okay, so that's cool. And to do that, you actually have to punch all the leaves first. Yep. Un yeah, unlike, no, yeah, yeah. Unlike vanilla, they won't drop saplings if you just chop them down. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's pretty neat. So that's why you want to get a sickle at some point. Oh, it's going oh, dark again. Come yeah. on. It's been two, th three days now, almost. Since you logged in, it's been almost three days. Oh no, no, you sk you missed one day. I sat here and waited for a day while you, while the while you logged in. So it's been three days for me, two days for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. These carpenters. This is awesome. Good. Okay, I'll probably just take a spot somewhere around here and, and build but somewhere. I do have to bring the server down so I can update it. Right, and will that affect anything or? Um, should only affect your quest book. In what but way? As long well. If you've started on the Bronze Age quests, those will all change. I haven't started really anything, so just the Gabro Rock and the Ten Sticks, the Tom. I haven't even yeah. really started anything. Just so it shouldn't affect any any of your stuff, Sweet. any of your quests. Okay. So whose house is who's been... here then? Um, or does it matter? Uh, this one's a sign. Spud yeah. Starter sh Shack. Okay. Cool. If it's not signed, then it's probably a community house. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I love these things that you can oh, put on the wall. Oh, before the sun goes up, sleep. Set your spawn. <laughs> that's funny. I, I can just click on leave, right? So, yeah. Because, look, it sticks me outside the, the wall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is weird. Go look at the other side of the wall. You should see my head. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, terra firma. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Nothing should spawn in here, really. Um, you know about the, uh, spawn protection? Nope. Spawn uh, protection. If you stay in a chunk for a certain amount of time, it sets up a radius, a protected radius. Oh, that's what that detector five. is for, right? That's what the detector's for. So it's like five chunks. So we, I, we're, per, I'm, excuse me, I'm pretty sure we have a five chunk radius around us. So it's basically, nothing will spawn in that radius, basically. Right, but keep the torches lit and should be good to go too. Oh look, look, look! There's a little chicken here. Yeah, he keeps getting stuck in there. Which well, is because thing. these are cauldrons, aren't they, or just vessels? Oh, okay. Because you can have them um, go into. Well, I don't know. Uh, there's a funny trick you can do with vanilla, anyways. That kind of, with a minecart with cauldrons, you can kind of kill them off uh, when they grow bigger. So when they're like little babies, they're in the minecart, mm -hmm. and uh, when they grow bigger, if you have like lava in the cauldron, they'll uh, you burn them up or whatever, <laughs> and then they'll turn them into a chicken. Uh, you basically uh, cook chicken. Yeah, I've seen that only a lot simpler. It's just <laughs> a sign holding up lava or something. <laughs> yeah, that works or, too. No, cool. it's a half slab. They're, they're standing on a half slab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Because they're basically a half slab big. Yeah, yeah, they're half. And then when they grow up, they all burn and die. Bang, yeah. And you just and have a hopper, hopper that picks it up. There's a yeah. hopper right underneath the half yeah. slab that picks everything up. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Cool. Okay, good. But so, yeah, well, um, 
check back either later this evening or tomorrow, and there should be an update. Okay. Right on. Right on. And I'll go ahead and post that link in the Skype chat. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you very much for inviting me to the server. Um, sure. It's been a while since I played uh, Minecraft, and you know, I want to play kind of Terra Firma Craft. Uh, I was waiting for the update, and then I, I saw that you were doing the Terra Firma Punk stuff. So, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole new world. That's awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. So, well, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for everything. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Hope to see more from you. Yeah, well, you will. You will.